are bringing the heat all show long. And my bud, Ryan Hinkson, is here with some of the best spicy cocktails from around the city. Hey, Ryan. Hey, what's happening? How's it going, man? Oh, man. Good. I am so amped about Me this. Me, too. I may be excited because most people reach for a drink right. to quench that spice. Yeah, I say start the fire with the drink. I love this right? energy. 100%. Yes. I am in. Okay. All right, so where are we starting? We're starting at Bar Mordecai. I love this place. Incredible cocktails. Mm -hmm. Karaoke in the basement. Do you oh. have a karaoke? Karaoke song like a go-to. Unfortunately, it's Billy Joel, and they're all too long, and everyone's yeah. bummed about it. And I'm like, listen, you're in, you're in it with hey, me. Hey, you got to just take the ride. Right? Exactly. <laughs> so great. So, so like I said, there's karaoke, a lot going on there. But the coolest part is the interior design is actually inspired by Wes Anderson movies. <gasps> cool. So I got a question. Favorite Wes Anderson movie? Ooh, I think it's probably The Grand Budapest Hotel or Fantastic Mr. Fox. I can go with Fantastic Mr. Fox. Okay. Like an animated George Clooney yeah. makes me feel less self-conscious. I you get know what that. I mean? you're like. George Clooney, right? calm down. We all know you're beautiful. Yes. It, Get out of here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's about us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the Bottle Rocket. It's mm. a great cocktail. So it's got a Jura, 12-year single malt scotch. Oh, okay. There's some white port in here. Mm -hmm. There's blueberry, tonic. There's some citrus going on. And look at these beautiful, perfectly clear ice spheres. Oh, my God. Gosh, that right? is, there, okay, so everyone who can't see, there's this ice cube goes all the way to the bottom. You cannot see that. Yeah. Oh. All the way through, yeah. right? So this is part of their highball program at the bar. Yeah. So, and it's um, forcibly carbonated. So okay. what that does, it's gonna ensure that every time you make this drink, it's perfect. Okay. And it's consistent, mm -hmm. right? And that really matters in terms of texture. We don't always talk about texture totally. when we're talking about drinks, but think about it, it's going into your mouth. Texture is important. Totally. Right? Like water has a different texture than milk. Exactly. The cocktail should have a different texture. So you've got to pay attention to texture. Mm -hmm. And then um, the spice, because we're doing spicy drinks, yeah. comes from something called Scrappy's Bitters Fire Tincture. Oh. You say that five times Scrappy's quick? Bitter Fire Tincture. Da, right. da, da, da. Yeah, yeah. Right. So it's a herbal extract. Yeah. You can pick it up at like most cocktail supply stores. Mm -hmm. And what that does, it helps kind of regulate how much heat is going into the drink. As opposed to say like if you're going to muddle some peppers in or use something like vinegar and salt mm -hmm. that you know you would do if you're making like a hot sauce. I yeah. love hot sauce, but I'm not trying to drink the glass of it. No, that's... So this is a more kind of refined way to do that. Cool. Right? Okay, shall we? we... Try it? I was like, I'm, I was thought don't you'd never wanna... ask where I am. Yeah, I don't want to ruin this perfect drink. I but know. I well, like we're we gonna get to. our mouths all. Oh, there we go. Cheers. Let's do this thing. Okay. Mm. Right. Active. What? Yeah. The little fizz mm -hmm. going on is making the spice just like pop, pop. And it, and it hangs around a little it bit. It does. Right? But it's not overbearing. No, and the smokiness because of the scotch in there. Yeah. This is a delicious very, very, cocktail. Very, very, very <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, I love okay, that. We're going to put it down. Okay, we got to put it down because we got to get two more. Yes, I know. All right. So All we right. are going to the Hamptons, not for a luxurious weekend getaway in not New York. Not to hang out with Ina Garten? No, oh, unfortunately okay. not. Maybe yeah. next time. Okay. But equally good, mm -hmm. an incredible spot in Toronto. They're based out of an old Victorian home. Oh, cool. And I love their philosophy there. They're all about mindful and just impactful experiences. And yeah. that trickles down to the menu. Mm -hmm. So it's well thought out food, mm -hmm. the cocktail program. They just want to make sure that everything is done perfectly. Mm -hmm. They're locally sourcing their ingredients. Oh, I love that. Right? Mm -hmm. And this drink here is the uh, Sayulita. Mm -hmm. So this is made with mezcal. Mm -hmm. We've got some infused Mexican peppers in there. Mm -hmm. Right? There's a Lilit aperitif. Ooh. And then there's a yellow chartreuse liqueur. That just sounds so fancy. It does sound yellow so fancy. Yellow chartreuse liqueur. Yellow chartreuse. That sounds like an old timey, like right. like a prohibition era. That's it. Yeah, that's you it. know. And then we've also got orange bitters in here. Okay. Right? And look at the simplicity of this. This I mean, is it just looks great. It's stunning. And this glassware, this like forces you to pinky up. Shall well, we pinky I'm gonna up? I'm going to say, yeah. yeah. Pinky I up. I almost feel like I don't want to spill this. I know. I'm so nervous. Okay, let's do that one go. Mm. Right. That one's bringing the heat. Yeah. That one is There's a, lot, a yeah. lot of heat in this. Ooh. And it changes really quickly. It really does. Yeah. Ooh, that's delicious. That The smokiness from that mezcal, mm -hmm. too. Ooh, I like the smoky spice that's going on. Me too, me yeah. too. Yeah, The delicious. aromatics are, are what it's about. Totally. This. Now, okay. finally, where are so we going? So, Bar Montauk. Mm -hmm. I love the motto here. So, it's not a cocktail bar. It's just a bar that makes cocktails. Okay. And their focus is, like, not making anyone feel like they have to have a drink drink. You know, mm -hmm. come in and order whatever you want. Mm -hmm. This is called the Clean and Clear. Mm -hmm. It's a non-alcoholic choice. And, you know, I'm loving this whole vibe of, like, making sure that your non-alcoholic, sorry, non-alcoholic versions are just as sophisticated as the drinks with alcohol totally. in Totally. Like, why not? People are doing dry Feb, mm -hmm. dry Jan, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, this is a clarified cocktail. So clarified means that, you know, they're going to 
remove any particles or any impurities. And again, that's just gonna help with taste, yeah. texture. This one here, we've got dandelion root. Ooh. Ginger's gonna bring you the heat in there. There's also uh, grass weed and um, coconut and pineapple notes <gasps> in there. Ooh, this sounds right? like a health drink. Right? And I, it doesn't have the alcohol in no. it, so you can call it a health yeah. drink. I was yeah. thinking like an elevated kind of like spicy pina colada, Ooh. but I, let's taste it let's and see it what, it, what it tastes like. All right, cheers to you, right. sir. Oh my gosh, always bring in the good flavors. This is good. That's given like pina colada, but with ginger. Yeah, and Ooh. you don't miss the alcohol. I do not at all. This is a good one. This one, I'm gonna finish. You're not mm -hmm. taking this one away. I'm gonna have this one throughout the right. show. Ryan, you crushed it again. Thanks for bringing all the goods. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.